and we can use that to plot our position. Remember that dead reckoning is the cornerstone of navigation. Well, according to my calculations, we should be in the anchorage in 1.34 hours. Well, it's supposed to be an hour, 20 minutes, supposed to be right inside the harbor. Yeah. Well, it's uh, 17.48 now. What time does that put us in? Well, 48 minutes and 20 minutes, that's uh, one hour and eight minutes, adding up the minutes. So that's 1908. To avoid confusion, the 24-hour clock is always used in navigation. 1908, that's 7.08 p.m. When dead reckoning, we have to be able to add and subtract time. Now, in order to be able to do that without a lot of confusion, we separate the hours and the minutes. Let me show you a couple of examples. In the first one, we had taken a DR at 1550, and we're now at 1748. We want to know how much time has passed. To do that, we have to subtract the two times. But 50 minutes won't subtract from 48, so we're going to have to borrow some time. We do that by subtracting one hour from the 17-hour column, and we come up with 16 hours. We take that hour, we add it in the form of 60 minutes to the right column. We now have 16 hours and 108 minutes. We can now subtract the first DR. 16 minus 15 is one hour. 108 minutes minus 50 is 58 minutes. So the elapsed time is one hour and 58 minutes. Now let's take a look at adding time. Here we have our current DR. We've determined how long it's going to take to get to our next anchorage. We have to add these two together to come up with our ETA, or estimated time of arrival. First, we add the minutes column, and we come up with 68 minutes. Then we add the hours column, and we have 18 hours. Now, 68 minutes is greater than one hour, so we'll subtract the 60 minutes from this side, and we're left with eight minutes so that we don't lose this hour, we'll add it to the hours column. We come up with 19 hours and 8 minutes. This converts to 1908 hours or 7.08 p.m. Adding and subtracting time is very important when dead reckoning. Look, Rob, there's a red and white boy there. It must be a fairway boy. Yeah, it marks uh, Commercial Harbor. We've got a tanker field right here, and there's a tanker loading. Boys and Beacons are sailors' signposts.